talk about the mix down of the tracks. You can see we have four separate tracks. Uh, one for gu lead guitar, one for bass, one for drums, and one for rhythm guitar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the EQing and everything on the fly as it goes. And we're also going to cut out parts that I don't really want to use. You know, stuff that might have gone in there that sounded really bad. So let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, kick it on. A little bit of a rough start. Lee guitar kicks in. So you can see I'm balancing down the tracks. Take that down in the mix a little bit. You can see I'm overdriving it a little bit right there. I gotta bring the drums up. really had real good pick control on this so my solos come through really good. A little bit of a flub there. That's okay for the sake of this video so I don't have to do a million takes. It's actually smoother in the original version on this solo. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of third bridge technique coming up. Yep, right there. Pluck the... A string from behind the bridge. We have that one last little daub right there. So there's a couple things I wanted to cut out. This right here would be one of them. So you go up here to options. If you don't want to cut on these lines, because in Reaper, uh, generally it works by dropping the line on each count. So to undo that, you go up to options, enable snapping, uncheck that. And then right before here, I can just do split, delete, and There we go. Now, uh, enable snapping. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and trim everything up here. The guitar came in a little bit early. But I think I'm going to leave it as is because it looks like it sounds pretty, pretty good. I mean, let's check. I'm going to cut out that little bass slide I do at the beginning. I don't really like that that much. Uh, let's unenable snapping again. Do a split right there and delete that. 
Let's check how that sounds. Yep. Jaguar is hell strong in this mix. So yeah, and that's pretty much the whole track right there that we've already listened through. Um, now we just do a render, which we can go up here to File and Render, or a faster way is go Control Alt R. There we are. Um, I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save this in my regular recording. We'll do it as it'll save it as a wave, and you watch for it. You see, it's over going. It's about at 2.6 over push on there, gain wise. So what I do is I go back in, render it again. Yep, over right. It's gotten a little bit lower. This is just the way I record my stuff. Granted, it's not as professional as, say, most people would do, but I had to learn to do this all on my own. I didn't have anybody help me out. And now that we're at a level of 0.0, .0 let's go check it out in uh, Winamp. So I'll open up my demo recordings folder here, and uh, I've got Hermit. And there we are, my song in Winamp. And there you see, there's my whole track that I did on YouTube.